they're like on the shelves of our garage. And I think Roy's been feeding them and stuff, so yeah. Basically they asked us to pull the Christmas tree out of the closet. And we have planted the cats here. Look how nice this one is. If I knew we should have never named them. We're gonna go to Walmart. If they have a good option, we'll take it. Parents no. watching, don't ever give stray animals temporary names. Yeah, don't do it. Because they become yours after that. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, we're gonna be pranking. Say it. Who are we gonna be pranking? Mom and Dad. We're gonna be pranking Mom and Dad. So, lately, me and Ada have seen these cats. Stray cats. These stray cats outside roaming around our house. And Ma I think Mom and Dad know about them. They don't really know what to do with them. They don't know if we should bring them to the vet to see if they have a micro trip. Micro trip? What is it? <laughs> micro trip. See if they have a micro micro chip. So basically what we're gonna do is take these cats and put them in our Christmas tree. Like, but not like that. Like we'll show you. But we're gonna put them near the Christmas tree and we're gonna be like, mom and dad, like there's random cats in our Christmas tree. And it's gonna be the best prank of 2021 that you guys have ever seen. Say hi, Roy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get started. It's gonna be the best prank of 2021, and let's go. Okay, so they're current, oh. Is that better? Yeah, they're currently in our garage, so we're gonna get them from the garage. They're like, like to, they're like on the shelves of our garage, yeah. and I think Roy's been feeding them and stuff, so yeah. Okay, so this is the first cat. What'd you guys, I think they gave them names, right? What's yeah, this name? one's socks, because it looks like um, she already is wearing little socks. little white socks, and they're so sweet. All right, let's go find the next one. All right, the next one is under our RV. Hello. Hello. This one's name is Biscuit. They just randomly showed up one day, and we don't know where they came from. But they're really sweet cats. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> High five, high five. So. Dab me up, dab me up. We're gonna take them to our Christmas tree room. Yeah, let's start with the other one. They're a little more. It's kind of going out perfect. It's following us. Come on, this way. This way, kitty. Right, got oh. socks. Oh, I guess she's carrying both the cats at once. Let's go. Come on, cats. Time to go. Time to go into the room. So the cats are in the game room. So what I think we should do is we should get the Christmas trees, out, Christmas tree out of the bag. Like we were like taking the Christmas tree out, and then we saw them like jump out. And then they should just be running free in here. So what I think. Okay. We're gonna get the Christmas tree out, and then before mom and dad come here, we're gonna put the cats by the Christmas tree, and then they're gonna walk and be like, oh my gosh! First, some cat content. All right, that's enough cat content. Now it's time to get the Christmas tree out of the closet. Also, I don't know if this is the right tree. You don't know if it's the right tree. I don't know if that's the right tree. I think it is. Okay. Cool. Don't mind me and Ada's uh, halfway done quarantine cow wall. That was a long time ago. <laughs> so Ada's gonna be the big muscle person Ow. and try to get the tree out of this closet. Yes, we have a fake tree. We have a fake Christmas tree, we're sorry about it. One year we had like a really big tree and we kind of just stopped when that happened. Yeah. It's just struggling, I think. Ow, it's poking me! I think she's struggling. She's actually poking me. I think she's struggling a little bit, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Ada's almost got it out. Okay, we have officially retrieved. <sighs> that was hard. Basically, they asked us to pull the Christmas tree out of the closet. And we have planted the cats here. So now we have to, all we have to do is wait for them to get home from the store. Ada, 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 Ada. Mom and Dad are home. Mom and Dad are home. They're home. Ladies first. Hello, guys. Hey, hey what's up, guys? Hey, how was the, the store? It was Where good. Are your bags? Well, we need you guys to go and get all the groceries <laughs> oh, from course. outside. So yeah. We do the shopping, so you guys put it away. <laughs> we um, are ready to put the Christmas tree up. Yeah, are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. There's a little uh, surprise up there me and Ada found. What? Uh, what are you talking you about? Is there a rats? There's rats. There's not rats. <laughs> Just come look. Did you find rat poop? No. no. Just come look. Just come I look. swear there was rat poop up there last time, but... Those are rocks from the Roy's old fish tank. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> I really don't want to go up here. <laughs> Is this I really how we're... I don't like this. Is this really how we're starting Christmas? Yes. 
There's something gonna jump out at us. It might. No, no. It might? I mean, no, 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 you're fine, you're fine. Okay, okay, I snuck in before. I kinda went ahead of them a little. They're coming. Whoa. I really don't go first, like go first, surprise. What the heck? What What are they doing up here? I don't know. They were up here when we came up. They, they were what? Hiding. hiding in the tree. Are they you serious? They were in the tree? Yes. No. I thought they left and went home. What? No, they were in the tree. Because I, I hadn't came. seen them last night. What? This one just acts like it lives here. Where's <laughs> what the heck? It's all cozy. Bro. They fit right Rory, on. did you sneak the cats up here? No, why would I do that? She's allergic, and she's been begging for them to come inside. And I said, no, they no, have to. No, we need to bring them to the vet. No, she, they're so sweet. Look at that. I thought they went home. I didn't see them all day today. They, 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 were, the they were in here. Maybe when like, you guys love the party, them. they came in. Well, I mean, I do love the cats, but what they, they got to go to their home. This is their I home. thought they left today. I thought they actually well, left. I thought they left, too, and then me and Ada came up here to get the Christmas tree, and they were up here. Yeah. We don't know how, but they were. Where are you I think they're trying to that? bamboozle us and let these make these cats move in. Well, they no. can't move in. We got to figure <laughs> out where they came oh from. Oh my gosh! And apparently, they just they, like our house. Apparently, they just did they poop anywhere? No. no. Or pee or nothing? They were, they were behaving. No. What's that on the ground? Rocks from Rory's fish old fish tank. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it got everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, are you guys ready to, to decorate? We have yeah, all the ornaments. We, we gotta put the these cats back outside. No, they can't they stay, can't here, stay in here. You guys, we have been leaving the garage door open, hoping that the cats would find their way back home, and we can't let them in the house, you guys. They like it in here. Because then they're look, gonna think it's look. their home. They love it. I like it. Look how nice this one is. I knew we should have never named them. We should have it's never given them salt. names. <laughs> we gave them temporary names just for fun. And then this is what happens. We claim that. Them. Of course. So parents no. watching, don't ever give stray animals temporary names. Yeah, don't do it. Because they become yours after that. Here's the plan, guys. This is what we're going to do. We're going to let them stay for the night, okay? Then we're going to go take them to the vet in the morning, mm -hmm. see if they have a microchip. What if they, if don't? they don't have a microchip, what we'll do is go ask people at the local pet store, like, are you guys missing cats? Have you heard of anybody missing a cat? Because, like, people would go to the local pet store right away to to look for their cats. Yeah, right? I don't know. I've just never seen these cats in our neighborhood, so it makes me think like somebody just dropped them off and right. they're looking for a house. Right. Because you know how some people just like that's how they get. They'll rid drive of out to the country and like drop their animal off. Right. So step number one is we're gonna take them to the vet in the morning, see if they have a microchip, and then we'll go from there. Yeah. So they'll stay for the night, and that's it. Just for the night. I can sleep with them. <laughs> yes, if you take allergy medicine. <laughs> <laughs> look at that face. <laughs> Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree. The plan for the night was just put up our Christmas tree and move on with our holly jolly merry way. Now we have two cats to take care of again, which we thought was no more. We thought they went home today because we hadn't seen them all day. And we're having a dilemma with our Christmas tree because when we remodeled our house, I had like a fancy schmancy designer come through and help me because I'm a helpless person. Um, and we never took into account like where does the Christmas tree go at Christmas time, right? I mean, who, who really does? It moves every year. Right. So last year what we did was we moved the reptiles. Where did we put them? We put them over here. Ready? So we had them right here against this wall because there's an outlet, it made sense, right? But we're, we're gonna try something new this year, I think. We're gonna try to put it. I like it there, it's out of the way. I just don't know what's gonna block all the pretty decor. We can't get to our cabinets. We shall see. We'll, we'll try it out and see how it looks. We have Jesse already building the tree. It's a tiny tree. No, it's not. It's half the tree. Girl, that's only the top of the tree. Oh. <laughs> Christmas decorating pro tip. If you need batteries in your star, put them on before. Yeah, and and put, I know it's traditional to put the star after. Trust me. We're going to have to make all the adjustments right now. Yes, because, because this was so annoying last year trying to get the star to stay nice and tall. Yes, you see in the Once movies, you see in the movies they put the star, it's not that easy. It's not, not that easy. easy. They're just like, do it before. They're like, me. so beautiful. No, when you do it like that, it's like this. <laughs> it's so true. Also, 
Christmas pro tip coming from a your Christmas expert who's done this for a lot of years now. Um, don't get the real trees. The needles go everywhere. You have to water them. If you love them, get them. But I've done it. I like the pre-lit fake tree. Look at how pretty this looks. It has a little tiny bit of- It doesn't look fake either. This one doesn't. We got it at Hobby Lobby last year when they were having like their Christmas sale. sale. Also- Which um, they're probably having now. Also, darn it, I forgot I was gonna say it was a good thing too. Yeah, me too. Cause you wrecked my Christmas tips. Now I forgot. The other plus side from leaving Murray in here is he'll get to enjoy the tree as well. Okay, so say you get a real tree because you like the smell of it. They make some scent sticks for you to yes, put on your tree. And they work. And they work dreams. It, your whole house will smell dreams. like it. They it's work amazing. Dreams. So. So if you want to be cleaning up pine needles every day, all day of your life, and sticky sap on your floor, and it gets all over your presents, and then you have to try to water your tree and not get your presents wet, then you know, go get a real tree. But if you want to be like me, go to Hobby Lobby and get that one. It's not done yet, this is, this is just the top. So I found a drawback to the pre-lit trees, okay? I'm gonna admit my faults, I'm gonna admit my wrongs here, but it can be fixed, because I have faith in my husband, who is the ultimate tinkerer, and he can fix anything and everything usually. We'll see. That's a lot of big talk. Well, it's true. Um, part of the tree doesn't light up. <laughs> yeah, so that's where we are right now. Okay, I found the burnt out ball. We found the burnt ball! Yay! But Is that we need yay! So, what this means for our Christmas, Jayla, is it is saved. Because we can now find a new bulb to replace the old bulb, and that should fix the problem. Okay, so I'm kind of not mad about this. I'm kind of getting excited because this could mean a trip to Hobby Lobby where we get a whole new tree and maybe all new decorations. So far, it's looking pretty good for me. It's looking like we might be making a trip to Hobby Lobby tonight. We've changed out this many bulbs and it's still not lighting up. So we have progress. It's not much, just a few lights. I don't know. Um, but we do have progress, so we'll see. We have all the rest of that that still needs to light up. <laughs> but in the meantime, I ordered Chinese food and I've been waiting for this food for over an hour. The girl's having a hard time finding her house because we live kind of out, hidden away. But I'm gonna eat. Let me show you what we got for dinner. Here is our Christmas tree decorating feast. We ordered Chinese, one of my favorite things to eat. We got that sweet and sour chicken. We got that veggie lo mein because I need some veggies. I've been craving these veggies. Wonton soup, pepper steak, crispy noodles for the wonton soup, chicken wings because it's something about them Chinese chicken wings. They're good. Egg rolls, rice, and then all the sauces and condiments. Let's eat. Also, dumplings. Gotta have the dumplings. If you do not like dumplings, I literally just despise you. Can't you be friends. You can't be friends. Dumplings are my life. <laughs> So Christmas tree building decorating was a fail, but we have backups. We're cookie. still in the holiday spirit and we found a chocolate chip cookie house. Not gingerbread, but it's chocolate chip. True. Has anyone ever seen this in their life? No, no, actually, probably no. not, because we just found it at Publix tonight. Oh, oh no, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. We also have this beautiful ugly sweater Christmas cookie oh, set. So me and Ada will be working yeah. on this. While these two <laughs> work on the chocolate cookie house. Oh no. Chocolate chip cookie house. What? You wanna just go get a new tree? You're blurry. What has glitter in it? This one will glitter. Why is it? Oh, it's it sparkly. Alright, we're trying to decide oh. to go get a new Christmas tree or not. Not. It was Tomorrow. a fail. The lights were a fail, guys. We couldn't get them to work. I feel like we should go get a new Christmas tree because then we're gonna keep postponing it. Well, Hobby Lobby is not open. It's closed in 10 we minutes. Walmart. We could go look at Walmart and see what they have. They probably have some good stuff. Uh, stay home. We have a solution. I have a solution. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to Walmart. If they have a good option, we'll take it. If they don't have a good option, we'll restring the lights with different. We'll restring the tree with different lights. Sounds good. Thanks. I like it. Okay, let's go. I think this is like record building, like Christmas cookie house right now. Like this thing is already up. Like record building time. Yeah, record building time. Most people, it has fallen apart at least three times by now, and they're just rebuilding again. Me and Rory are just a good team. So, what do we think about the interlocking walls, though? Helpful or not? 
helpful. I think so too. Girl, I think this stuff expired. It's not sparkly. What? What? You're using old frosting? No, that's the one you use on the cake, isn't it? We have pink frosting in it. That's new. Strawberry. Really? Yeah. All right, this is my ugly Christmas sweater, I would say. It looks pretty ugly. And I mean, that's <laughs> what we're going for. Let's try. I put a lot of frosting. <laughs> I'm craving sweet, so I'm gonna have to have some. Mm. Very good. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. <sighs> So, we are having the most ultimate epic Christmas fail you could possibly ever have. The Christmas tree is officially, the lights are not working. So Jesse's currently uh, working on removing the lights that are attached to it and hopefully we can go run out to Target and find some lights and restring it and it'll look okay, I don't know. We're just gonna try it. Um, but I'm gonna read my fortune from my fortune cookie. See if this will make me cheer up a little bit. No. I'm not even going to say what it is. Alright, we're at Walmart. We're about to get us a new Christmas tree. We're at Wally World. So we're deciding if we should get one of the trees here, which we don't love any of them. They're all like too small. There's like a tall one, but then it's like so bare. And yeah, there's a tall one right here, but let me show you. You can literally see like straight through it. <laughs> Like you can go right through that. <laughs> so we're just trying to decide, should we just try to string, restring our tree we already have, but Jesse's already kind of given up on it because it was a pre-lit tree and all the lights were completely attached to it. And he's tried undoing like half of it and it's just being really, really annoying. So Hobby Lobby's closed, Target's closed, we're at Walmart. I That one, seven and a half foot. Uh, can we get a little bit taller? Any, I don't have any tall ones, so oh. I might have to just go to Hobby Lobby tomorrow in the morning and finish it then. <laughs> Here is our sad, lonely, broken tree, which I loved. R.I.P. Mr. Tree. So today was supposed to be all about putting up the Christmas tree. We got distracted. It's okay. We had cats living in our tree, um, which, by the way, we will be keeping you updated. So next video. We are going to redeem ourselves. Here's our plans for tomorrow. Number one, go to Hobby Lobby, procure a tree. Number two, check in on kitties, make sure they're doing okay. We cannot bring them to the vet yet because it's a weekend, so we'll be doing that a different day, but we'll keep you updated on how they're doing. Diesel's doing great, if you were wondering. Also, if you kept up with the video where he got really sick, he's doing okay, he's recovering. He still has to be on a special diet. What? Rory spilled pickle juice all over her bed, and that's why it smells. <laughs> oh, oh my no. God. All right. <laughs> okay. We have a pickle juice crisis. Um, Rory spilled pickle juice all over her bed, so we'll keep you updated on that in the next video. And that is a brand new mattress. <laughs> I just bought the mattress. And her bedding. And her bedding. It's all new. <laughs> <sighs> oh, okay. But we had fun. We built a Christmas cookie house and we made ugly sweaters. I did post a photo on my Instagram. Go follow me, please. I need it right now. <laughs> I need some love. Bye bye, tree. Sad. I love you that will tree. Be missed. I okay. know. I hope we can find the same one again. I was going to say remember to eat your pickles, kid, but it's just not a day for that because I had to go deal with a bunch of pickle juice now. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.